which I have to mute because <laughs> I think I need to change that. Currently thinking out loud. Thank you, Darth Raven, for hosting. Let's see how that looks. Much better. Okay. Hey Jesse, hey Birch, hey War Hero. <clears throat> I need to bring this closer. Ha! <laughs> I see what you did there, Raven. All right. Let's go ahead and put on pre-show. I sound a bit troubled. Um, I'm just waking up from having a uh, uh, having a what was it? A nap? Wow! I can't even like piece together what the fuck I was uh, just about to say. No, um, I, I've had a really long ass nap. So, and it was kind of unexpected. Then again, I work a graveyard shift, and yet I still act surprised. I'm not sure why. Um. In any case, uh, I'm still getting set up. In fact, let's get this cup out of the way. Let's get a couple of other things out of the way. No, the sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. Jedi Padawan Daniel, thank you for hosting. <gasps> myself some freaking Oreos. <laughs> um, let's see. I should get a bowl because I've got carrots to set up. Let's see, I had Pizza Hut's pizza and pasta. Uh. <laughs> Thumbs, thank you for hosting. Uh, still stretching. Uh. You know what? I might ma I might need to make myself some coffee while I'm at it. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, sit back as I you know get some things prepared because I want to make this as fun as possible. I mean, this game. I love this game. Anyways, um, BRB. Let me go get a mug and shit.
Sorry about that. I had to prepare a couple of things. I should also prepare a thing of uh, carrots. You know me, I like to set up a couple of uh, things of, you know, veggies. So who do we have? Oh, there's Kikio. Um, I already said the Darth Raven and Desert Samurai there. Wolfhead. Um, Alright, so Deeper, you're asking me what game I'm playing tonight. Hang on, let me just put this in. Super Metroid. That's what I'm playing tonight. That's literally what I announced on... Thank you for hosting my stream, Magical Star. Um, yeah, I literally announced that on both uh, Twitter and YouTube. So that's going to be fun. Am I going to 100% on Metroid? Um, no. I will not have the time to do that. I will say this, though. Um, I'm thinking about doing two different types of this Let's Play. The first of which being a casual playthrough, and I just go through every... You know, every known area. And then, the next time I ever do one of these, I want to do one of those speed runs and try to beat the game under three hours. Because if you beat the game under three hours... You see Samus with her suit off. And by comparison, I think she looks the hottest in this one. But enough about that. Still getting some things prepared. Let's shake this up a bit. Who knows? I might actually be able to complete the game tonight. But suit off oh my yeah <laughs> she still has something under her suit all right guys let's let's get her heads out of her um let's get our heads out of her gutter you know Desert Samurai, no. Co-coms tonight? Oh, yeah, that's still a thing that's yet to happen. Um, I should give um, the announcement on my other servers. Um, I'm thinking out loud. Yes, I do spread the link around. And I'm sorry if that comes off as a... Uh... I don't know what the term is. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing good tonight. Um, I hope it... I hope this becomes a fun stream. Did enough there. I should get, I should start the calls like already. I see somebody's been waiting. Hello? Hello? Oh, Jesus. I'm on push to talk. Sorry. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hello. 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 
I just heard a snap or a noise. Ow, my hands. <laughs> oh, all right then. Oh, suddenly well, we have company. That didn't take oh. long. Thank you for choosing I... Magic Carpet for all your travel needs. <laughs> you did a very close impersonation of that voice. Thank you. I've been practicing. <laughs> I hurt my hands. Ow, that was not what, worth it. Logic, what did you do? I clapped really fucking loud. <laughs> oh, ow! Okay. Poor Straight out of the so gate already next... trying to be like... Yeah, no, yeah, Logic, don't clap golden. your hands so hard next time, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> next time, fucking... just burn your hands. It's better. <laughs> Actually, funny thing, this is only going to make sense if anyone here owns a car. Oh, Christ. Does anyone here own a car? Uh, nope. no. I think so. Fuck. Well, so far, the pack <laughs> is full. I don't know if Solar or Bliss are going to be joining. I think Bliss is still, like, recovering because she was under the weather after she got back from the wedding. Oh, mm -hmm. no. I think she's doing. I think she's doing better than before, but you never know. Um, yeah, it would be fun to have Solar around because he's a big fan of Metroid, aside from you know Pokemon. Oh yeah. If only we could summon him from the realm of War Thunder. If I had cold ones I and I would crack it open, that would definitely. Say that. <laughs> but until then, can we get a hashtag get well soon, Blissy, in the chat or something? I don't know. Yes. You know I what? Agree. We'll start yeah. that shit off it right. It will soon, you rainbow fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's all good. That's Kiki, yo. <laughs> do 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 do. Yep. <laughs> da, 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 da. <sighs> so, how about that, uh, self, like, self shameless plug, uh, how many of you enjoyed that Lion King video? Oh, I really enjoyed it. Fucking, I slept past the premiere and haven't really, like, taken a moment to watch it, but I will. I did watch a little bit of the beginning before all of a sudden something... Well, you're also from the United Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. I have yet to watch it. The land of <laughs> idle boredom and grey skies. All right. Um, <laughs> in fact, I don't know if I'm pale or if it's just the grayscale nature of this country. Oh my god. Derek, uh, the live-action Lion King is not out yet, and I do not plan on seeing it. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of those in the gray area of wanting to see or wanting not to see. It was like I in the same case as Aladdin. <laughs> Every time somebody asks Golden would he watch the fucking live action Lion King, he just wrote LOL nope. <laughs> it's like, whoa, no. <laughs> whenever, whenever someone asks it, I imagine a physical manifestation of Golden Fox's childhood just appearing next to him and going, no thanks, I choose life. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, I choose life. <laughs> He's gripping me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can we get some art of that? I, I want to see someone try and design a pony. A small pony who is the physical manifestation of Golden Fox's childhood. Golden <laughs> Fox's inner childhood, yes, please, somebody so do Golden that. Golden Fox will have plenty of credits that continue. Oh. Alright then. <laughs> oh, that's right, I've heard, um, I received word that the Nightmare Before Christmas is getting a live action. How the fuck are you gonna make that work? By making How? it really watered down and crap. How much you get a live action, and you get a live action, and you Everything get a live action. Live action. Everything except for the movies that actually deserve a live action. Yeah, you know, <coughs> Atlantis, <laughs> <laughs> the Dude, Treasure Planet, the and Black Cauldron. Cauldron. What, Black Kikyo? Cauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Black Cauldron. Yeah. Yeah. No, Atlant I, Atlantis. Tom Holland is Milo Thatch. Perfect. Yes. Absolutely. That would be Tom super Holland. Adorable. Tom Holland is fucking absolute boy at this point. Oh the yeah, no one is Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Tom Holland and Keanu Reeves are like the internet darlings, and I could not be happier. If they ever.
ever do a live action Atlantis. I hope they stick it to like they did in the animated where they added ste somewhat of a steampunk theme at Con. Oh fuck yeah, that's part of what I loved about it. Aside from, uh, you know, being more adult, like attempting to be more adult, kind of like Stargate or Independence Day, you know, something that's more oh, action yeah. driven. That's like it felt like Disney was trying to grow up with me. It's like hey, I, I got stuff to me entertain you, and like I appreciated the. Um, the attempt, but when I was in high school, it just kind of faded out fast, and then I found out, oh, Atlantis didn't do well at the box office. Man, yeah. I just want glowy crystals. It's you just want what? what? Glowy crystals. Glowy oh, crystals, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, It'd be hilarious. It would be hilarious if Disney did it in such a way that it just felt like it was Diet Avatar. Speaking of Treasure Planet, fucking... Except it'd be much better. Because we don't need any blue cats running around in a jungle. Oh my god. It is done oh before god. AWA. <laughs> on, the topic, on the topic of Treasure Planet, you guys just got me thinking about it. And now looking back, I'm surprised I wasn't terrified of everything that was Treasure Planet. Because they have a black hole in Treasure Planet. I hate black holes. And one of the villains gets lost in space. Mm. One of my most yeah. crippling fears of all time. Yeah. I don't like space anymore. I grew up to be <laughs> fearful of space, black holes, and anything else. Okay, Logic, I have a question for you. Are you more afraid of space or more afraid of the bottom of the ocean? Because the bottom of the ocean is also pretty fucking scary. Well, we know less the about the, our ocean than we do with space. That's oh, scary, man. You know, no, but it's like I I am aware of these facts, but I raise you this. I can swim upwards in water. I can't swim downwards in space. Okay. You can only swim upwards until something pulls you back down. Yeah, no, okay. Um here's something that would terrify you because it actually still like creeps me out. That scene from Aladdin where Aladdin, um, Aladdin was attached to a ball and chain and the guards tried to drown him. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. The sad thing is, that actually does happen in real life. Secretly oh, yeah. killing somebody. Yeah, and it's terrifying. That used to be quite a very well-known thing way back in the 1920s. Mob, uh, mafia people would do that all the time. That's why that whole running gag about these cement shoes, mm. it was not just something to make a joke out of. That actually does happen. Ugh, and it's terrifying. Okay, Thalms makes the good point that there are no octopus monsters in space, but I'm going to count that you know of. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here's the thing I'm about going to, Nah, my turn. I'm going to count to that point by saying, yes, there are no octopus monsters in space, but at least if I get killed by an octopus monster, I'm dead on Earth and not in space. <laughs> this time. You guys like don't, Sandra Bullock you guys and gravity. don't seem to understand the base nature of this issue of mine. It is not what is in space. It is not anything to do with that. I don't like space. I don't want to be lost in space. I don't want to die in space. I want to be safe on my little rock floating through space. All right. <laughs> we all know the feeling. Or the worst, th like worst case scenario is that you're floating through space and you just so happen to be caught in the gravitational pull of Jupiter. Mm. Oh, like, dude! Imagine if you fall in the red spot. It was the worst. I think what started. Re I think what started really affecting me about it is when Let's Players and stuff started playing more space-oriented games like Alien: Isolation. Mm. And what's that new one that came out where you're an AI on a spaceship and you somehow ended up near Saturn? Oh, um, uh, damn, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. But I know what you're talking space. about. That's not, the, yeah. that's not the same thing. It's not Dead Space. So. And then I look back on things like Dead Space and Mass Effect, and I'm just like, these things should have terrified me growing up, but they didn't, but now they do. Yeah. And the thing that bothers <laughs> about Mass Effect even, isn't even the giant space monster squid things. It's space. Space monster squid and then things. Dead, and then in Dead Space, it's just like, okay, I'm on a spaceship far away from Earth as you could possibly get. Strike one. Surrounded by space zombies. Strike two. And I'm going to die. Uh, in space. 
Wow, you're kind of where no one can out. hear you scream. Yeah. I would screw me. <laughs> I'm... Don't in really. Spite... <laughs> I mean, in spite God of God cons... damn it. In spite of consent, I have to decline out of respect. <laughs> I mean, logic. I have I have the number one 101 beginner's guide so that you don't die in space if you ever find yourself in that very fictional scenario. Actually, if fuck you... off, okay? No. <laughs> I was just gonna say! I was just gonna say, just keep shooting with your freaking cutter gun or whatever the hell the dead space man has. The plasma cutter. The plasma cutter, yeah, man. It's gonna leave you up in space with nothing. You have the plasma cutter. And once your fail safe of that fail, shoot myself with the plasma cutter while my arms have been rendered from my fucking body. <laughs> well, that, you see, now that's kind of graphic. I wasn't gonna go all the way over there. Anyways, Dead space I, I think... is kind of graphic. <laughs> well, Dead you, space you is, the most go is one of the few, one of the most goriest games I've ever seen done in today's generation. Like, it is really messed up. Do you want to know how terrifying Dead Space is? They make you perform fucking impromptu eye surgery during Dead Space. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I love Damn. what you said. <laughs> Shut up. Mm, I don't like tasty being poked in the eye. It freaks me out. I don't like being poked in the eye. It freaks me out, okay? The idea of that just be so squishy out. and just. Kick you! Shut up! No! No! I what are you? Getting, I will I'm accept the transition to now. literally any other subject right now. On another note, I, I think it's time we get started. Yeah, yeah Metroid. Metroid, boys! Yep. Metroid! Yep. In spite of my rants about not liking space, we're gonna play a space game. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? It makes all the sense. 